आई वेलकम ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी एस सी पार्ट फर्स्ट ईयर डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव बिन टीचिंग यू द सेकेंड पेपर ऑफ बी एस सी पार्ट सेकेंड क्लास बी एस सी पार्ट फर्स्ट क्लास अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिलेबस ऑफ फिजिक्स डिस्क्राइब बाई एम जी एस यू बीकानेर यूनिवर्सिटी That is Maharaja Ganga Singh University. Dear students, uh, in the last lecture I explained about coefficient of self-induction and mutual induction, and I determined their values for coils, solenoids, etc. Today I will explain a very important method to determine the coefficient of self-induction. and the process which we shall use or i will explain is rayleigh's method and you will find that as far as examinations are concerned this is one of those topics which is oftenly asked every year in the examination many students try to cram this particular method and in the examination they forget because it is having very similar equations but if you understand the method then it will be very simple for you to write as well as explain dear students in this method you can see it is a wheat stone bridge like structure or bridge like circuit this is arm having resistance p the arm having resistance q arm having resistance r capital r but the arm which is oftenly having resistance s is replaced with a combination of a very small resistance is smaller remember this is a very small resistance and there is an inductance inductance whose coefficient of self induction l i wish wish to determine as usual you can mark a b c d what is the difference is the first difference i have already discussed that there is a small resistance r connected in parallel to a plug key k vandesh and the self induct uh, the inductance is connected in series the conventional galvanometer is replaced by a ballistic galvanometer this is the most important difference which you should learn it is not an ordinary galvanometer which you have uh, gone through in your 12th class and if you have visited the laboratory there was a deflection galvanometer but here the deflect uh, the normal galvanometer is replaced by a ballistic galvanometer what is the beauty of ballistic galvanometer is that not only in the steady state it behaves like a normal galvanometer it, it can measure the current also but if there is a transient charge flowing through the galvanometer then it gives a deflection which is proportional to the charge so one can even measure the charge also using this and i tell you that in your second year laboratory class uh, in the next year when you will be going to second year you will have an experiment of ballistic galvanometer in your laboratory as well this is i have not written here that this galvanometer is replaced by a ballistic galvanometer now i write that ballistic galvanometer acts as a conventional galvanometer for a steady current if the current through the galvanometer is constant steady means constant then the deflection simple is obtained but for transient flow of charge deflection occurs and one can measure charge if the deflection is theta then charge is q is written as k into theta it means the charge flown through the galvanometer can be obtained by this equation here k is called the ballistic reduction factor i will explain the whole thing today in hindi also in the continuation but you will have to wait for that so charge q is equal to k theta and here k is ballistic reduction factor 
there are two steps of this to perform this particular experiment in the first step what i will do uh, uh, before i go to the step first i explain that suppose you have closed this k1 dash then r will be short circuited and there will be no role of small r in the circuit after closing k1 dash if you open or close this k1 then it will make a difference because as soon as you uh, close k1 there will be a current flowing and that will induce an emf across l so in the step first suppose before that i closed k1 dash and i closed k1 and i got a steady state i selected p q r and values are such that the galvanometer had zero deflection then i opened this k1 and again got a zero deflection criteria now what i do here it is written as shown in the figure k1 dash is first closed k1 dash as well this is what i have explained now suppose initially k1 dash was closed this is what i said k1 dash was closed and k1 was open this was open and as soon as k1 is closed the induced emf across l will be having a magnitude l di by dt i am not interested in the sign that is minus l di di by dt often you write down so magnitude e is equal to l di by dt due to this current due to this voltage the current in the galvanometer ig is proportional to magnitude of this emf upon resistance of the ballistic galvanometer that is capital g so current is proportional to this magnitude and that is p e upon g i am writing the value of e here it is pl by g into di by dt p is some constant of the galvanometer now if the current rises the moment you close this k1 at t equal to 0 the current got started increasing and a steady state will occur so let the maximum current which rises in the circuit is i0 then the charge flowing is simply obtained by q equals to integration of the current with respect to time and the current goes from 0 to i0 like this and i will get i have written this value of ig pl upon g that is outside the integration current has raised from 0 to i0 di by dt is there multiplied by dt dt will cancel dt and after integrating i will get pl i0 by g pl i0 by g this is one equation equation number 4 now if due to this charge the deflection in the ballistic galvanometer was theta then i am using this equation first q is equal to k theta and at this is equal to pl upon g i0 it is equation number 5 equation number 5 is here now dear students what i do is in the next pro, uh, step 2 i will open this k1 day so r will come into picture but you have to be very careful we have taken a small r so small that it is hardly changing the current through the galvanometer so as soon as say k1 dash is open and i close this k1 then what will happen the current through this arm was i0 so a potential i0 r will take place across this resistance which was not present earlier because it was short circuited by this key plug key so now due to this potential across the small r i0 r which is now taking place after opening k1 dash there will be a current in the galvanometer additional current that is proportional to this e dash equals to i0 r this is i am exp explaining on the next page for you okay